We are learning new details about the North Augusta football player taken off the field on a stretcher at last week's game against Evans. News Channel 6's Graham Lee is here now with the latest on Walker Robinson's recovery. Yeah, Robinson's life turned upside down after that collision last Friday. But as the senior is recovering, his injury is drawing attention to the importance of safety in high school sports. Some heart-stopping moments last Friday night as senior Walker Robinson collapsed to the ground, knocked unconscious after a collision with teammate Alex Powell. Robinson's parents are speaking out six days after the incident. During the actual moment, it was very surreal, dreamlike. Um, I, I, I was there, but I wasn't. When you see him motionless and on the field, you know, in my mind, you know, I, I, was, I was saying, get up, get up, uh, and he wasn't. Their son fractured three vertebrae in the upper part of the spine and also suffered a severe concussion. After 24 hours in the hospital, he returned home. And since then, they say the support has been tremendous. We had, um, you know, not only friends and family praying for us, we had the whole community praying for us and for Walker. and. Um, it's amazing. I see God all over this. Incidents like Walker's turn the spotlight to safety in high school sports. Dr. Robert Gambrell says you can never predict these things happening, but medical teams must be prepared. It's very important to have a, a you know an emergency action plan in place. You know so that when somebody does get hurt, all the all the parties responsible uh, know know what steps to take to to get them the care that they need. And the Robinsons say that Walker got that quality care, but they've learned some valuable lessons from this experience. Don't take life for granted. Um, you know, love your kids, um, support your kids, because you never know when something like this is going to happen. When he can, he'll be there on the sidelines cheering them on and um, He'll be back. He'll be back. Well, Walker can't play for at least the next four to six weeks. He's also out of school this week, but if things get better, they're hoping he'll return to the classroom next week. Jenny. All right, Graham Lee, thank you so much.